guys, Michael here with Hello Cupcake It's Me, and today is the Wednesday check-in. Today is February 22nd, 2023, and thanks for hanging with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe, and then head on over to anchor.fm slash Hello Cupcake It's Me to follow along with the podcast, and then check out the blog, hellocupcakeitsme.com. So, um... Uh, this morning woke up to a winter wonderland, so for those of you who don't know me and are new to the channel, I absolutely hate snow, and I hate having to deal with the people who drive in the snow and everything about snow. But um, above and beyond that, it's been fairly decent and okay. Um, people weren't too big of douche nozzles having to drive today, but... Uh, yeah, I got a couple of uh, upcoming doctor's appointments. Tomorrow I have my podiatry appointment, and I get to go get my feet looked at and checked out and make sure that everything's going good with there, and then get my um, get a little manicure take, done. And then um, Friday I have a primary care physician appointment, and they, they have to check my... Uh, bloodstream and make sure that there's no illicit drugs in there and that I'm taking all the medications that I'm supposed to be taking and who da ha da he da ha da boo boo and all that other bullshit so um, that's fun and then Tuesday I'm supposed to go to a dentist appointment and I'm kind of like on the fence with it because um, a couple of weeks ago I busted off another part of a tooth that's already broken and my gum is already starting to heal up around the tooth and um, I'm just really worried about like going back in there after everything's healed and them having to drill on my face. And um, if they do take that tooth and can't like build anything up around it or whatever, then I'm only going to have the one tooth on that side. And um, that's probably going to like only take a little while to break off because... I'm sure there, there's already a cavity on there and whatever damage is caused from the other tooth that's breaking off. And the teeth on this side of my face are starting to wear down a little bit and I'm already missing a tooth over here. And I'm missing a tooth over here and my, wis my wisdom or molars, whatever in the very back, came in at an angle so it's just been pushing on all of that for like years now and I should have had those removed when I was 14, 15 but I never did and they still want to take them out and I'm just like mm, no <laughs> like unless they absolutely have to come out I don't want them removed they're not bothering me um, so with the one tooth over here that's missing I thought that that would have uh, provided a little bit of um room for my teeth to readjust and like move into place or whatever because I've noticed I've started getting a gap down here in, the, in my teeth over here so I don't know I'm just really not looking forward to the fact that my tooth is already or my gums and whatever are starting to heal only to go in on Tuesday to have my face drilled on and then you know have to then try to go do trivia later on that evening uh, just does not sound like a fun time to be had, but I'm going to try to be a trooper. I'm going to take a Xanax before I go and hope for the best. But, um, yeah, just plugging along, doing the best I can. Uh, Tuesday night, last night, uh had a good trivia game going uh we had a little bit of a problem at our location like the system kicked us all off and we had to reboot and we ended up like going half around without being able to um have any points or whatever but i still think that we did pretty well and it wasn't a like a major night it was a meeting of the minds which means that like the top three from each location were kind of battling it out so um i think last night um actually i i don't even know but i think we did okay last night i don't know who our top three for our location was um 
probably find that out later on today when I check out the Facebook group and what have you. But I've been doing a lot of crafting also and um, trying to get more of my little boxes put together. And I did this little box. I did a fire polish on it and I need to go over it with um, some shellac or something to kind of bring it out a little bit more. But I did this little like triple goddess thing on the front. And I, I'm loving working with balsa wood right now. That's what this is. And I want to get some more of these, but uh, four of them is like $12, but after shipping and handling and everything, it comes out to almost $22. And guys, I just don't have $22 to constantly spend on it, but I want more balsa wood boxes like this. Um, I've been going to the Dollar Tree, though, and they have these really cool, like, balsa wood boxes like this size. This is one that I'm in the process of working on. Um... So I could get those for a dollar twenty-five, but I don't go to the Dollar Tree all that often. And, um, but I'm really loving these. Like, this is just a plain one that I haven't worked on yet. Just a plain little balsa wood box with one little drawer here. Then this is a fake drawer. But been having a lot of fun making them and working on them, and I plan on trying to put them on the marketplace and getting a few extra dollars here and there if I can and um, I've come up with a new painting technique that I'm really enjoying and I love the way that it turns out so um, that uh, that plain one that I just showed you um, I'm going to use that whole new painting technique on that and uh, Depending on how that turns out will, will depend on if I show it to you guys or not, but I'm really excited about it. And, um, yeah, been playing my uh, Nintendo Switch lately. I'm playing a new game right now called uh, Travels of the Multiverse or something like that, Multiverse Madness, something. But uh, you are this kid and you are following this eccentric... Uh, man through different dimensions and stuff of the multiverse and it's a puzzle side scro side scroller 8 bit kind of game and kind of fun having having good times with that and um still playing Super Mario Odyssey from time to time and have a couple of other games that I've downloaded and there's a bunch of games coming out that I would love to be able to get a hold of um one of them is Hogwarts Legacies. Now, Hogwarts Legacy is already out for like PS, uh, the PS4 and 5 and Xbox and all that other stuff. It doesn't come to Nintendo Switch until July 25th or 29th or something. I don't know why they've already pre-released it or what have you, but I really want to get that one. Um, I love Harry Potter. I love the whole Hogwarts... Harry Potter universe and um, really looking forward to getting to play that one one of these days and I want to get a uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe um, so there's a couple of video games that I really want but you know I've said this before and I'll say it again switch is so amazing with the amount of content that's available for it and the fact that you can get a lot of games for free and a lot of the games that I have, like I have over 40 something games now, and most of them are free or I paid less than $5 for. And it's not like I'm just paying $5, $5, $5. No, it's like $5 every month or so. And so I've just built up a nice little repertoire of games. And uh, I could play against other people online if they have the same games or whatever else so it's it's been really fun and I'm so thankful to have it in my life and being able to just enjoy it uh, so but yeah um above and beyond that not much else really going on um just trying to make it through the week 
like everyone else and just kind of piddling along. Um, I've been experimenting with new recipes. I've been cooking uh, full meals lately. Uh, usually I just cook things that are like really quick to make or like 30 minute meals or whatever. Basically heat and go type of food. But uh, the last couple of days I've actually cooked from scratch and it's been nice. Cooking is a passion of mine. I always wanted to, I always thought that I would like to have gone to like Le Cordon Bleu or some kind of culinary school. But um, when I was in the process of graduating high school, my dad didn't want to send me to schooling for things that did not make money. Like, my original thing that I wanted to go to school for is I wanted to go to school for computer animation. And I'm not going to send you to school to draw. I'm like, okay, because, and he's all, there's no money in that. And I'm all, okay, Dad, you know, I could go to work for Pixel or I could go to work for Disney or whatever. But, uh, oh, okay, there's no money to be made in that, okay? And I was like, okay, how about Le Cordon Bleu? Will you send me to culinary school? No, I'm not going to send you to school to be a chef. There's no money in that. I'm like, okay. Uh, we'll tell Wolfgang Puck that, and we'll tell, you know, Jamie Oliver and whoever. I said, um, okay, how about going to school for high school English? Uh, let me go to school to become an English teacher. Okay, you could do that. So, um, whatever. <laughs> I went to school and pursued a teaching degree, and while I was there, I pursued several other degrees, and when I dropped out of college, I dropped out with needing about 12 to 20 units to complete several different degrees, and, um, yeah, so, anyways, I thought that I would like to go to Le Cordon Bleu and become a chef and cook, but that did not happen. And, um, so I cook for pleasure, and it's one of those things that I really enjoy doing, and I don't do it all that often. Uh, a lot of it is because of just being depressed, and when you're depressed, you don't want to take care of yourself, and uh, personal care is just one of those things that goes out the window and so um, I made myself the other day some homemade chicken parmesan and guys when I tell you it turned out so freaking amazing I did it all in my air fryer too which was even more spectacular uh, I took the chicken I took boneless skinless chicken breasts and I cut them into strict strict <laughs> strips lengthwise and I threw it into a bowl with a little bit of water garlic powder onion powder salt and pepper and um, Italian breadcrumbs and a little bit of Italian seasoning and I mixed it all together until it became a wet dough and I added three eggs into it and mixed that all together so that it had a binder and uh, did it into a wet dough, stuck it in my air fryer, cooked it for 10 minutes on 400 degrees, and then I switched it over to my little baking dish, and I put those uh, chicken strips in there, and then I covered it with marinara and uh, more uh, Italian seasoning and salt and pepper and uh, Parmesan cheese stuck that back in the air fryer with a piece of aluminum foil over it, cooked it for another 10 minutes, took the aluminum foil off and let it cook the rest of the time without the aluminum foil, and then I made up some garlic bread to go along with it. Oh my god, it was so good. So good. And then the night prior to that, I did um, chicken kebabs, and that was really yummy. And I usually don't like homemade chicken, so, um, the last two nights that I've had homemade chicken dishes have just been chef's kiss, you know. So, tonight for dinner, I th 
I don't know if I'm going to do meatloaf and baked potato or if I'm going to do um, chicken vegetable kebabs with asparagus. So I have a couple of options to play around with. And then I also have a kielbasa that I need to eat. So um, now that I've made you all hungry, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, just doing what I can and having fun having fun the best that I can so anyways I'm gonna let you guys go because I feel like I'm starting to ramble and I'm getting cold and I want to turn on the heater and just get all nice and cozy so I will talk to y'all later bye guys